So, excellent morning. Excellent morning to every one of us. How are we doing? Happy weekend, happy weekend. I just hope um, network will be fair on us and be struggling with network. Hey, okay, let me see if um, I succeeded. If you're online, you can quickly, you know, say hello so I can greet you. Good morning this morning. We are all welcome to this morning's broadcast. Welcome, welcome to every one of us. Like we all know, today we are going to be looking at, it's our exercise day. But incidentally, today I'm not doing much practical. I only do illustrations for us. So we are all highly welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to this morning's broadcast. I cannot see Facebook showing me that I'm live. I hope I'm live. <laughs> hey, I don't know which one they do now. I hope I'm live. All right, I'm live. Oh, I see many people are here, yet it's not showing me anything on this screen. Wow. <laughs> Out to the hello, Joy. You're welcome. Welcome. Good morning. Sorry, I'm late logistic issues and all those that keep calling just um before i go live we have to stop oh, those people who will wait when it's nine o'clock or eight thirty they start calling <laughs> okay i think um i'm seeing something on that is as if my screen is a little enlarged hello grace you're welcome 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 will permit me to share this on my pages and we get going today but we have a lot to learn today we really really have a lot to learn today so just permit me to share 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 and you too please share share out to friends share out to everyone so that we can have a lovely time this evening i'm going to be doing some demonstrations i might not be able to do so much because today is not practical but next week um saturday i'm also going to go practical for us so will just allow me to do the theory because some people will say i'm not seeing i'm not seeing so watch today and see very very well so that on saturday when i'm demonstrating i will go ahead and do only demonstration okay so we are highly welcome welcome hello eno eti you're welcome welcome to this morning's broadcast as we look at exercises that can help manage and prevent osteoarthritis that's what we are looking at we're going to be handling today okay all right so as i share this on my pages also kindly help me share share out to your pages too hello welcome mabel mabel you're welcome 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 to this morning's broadcast we are highly welcome like i said let's share 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 out so that um, we can have a lot of people join us this morning i'm sharing on my pages this weekend so there are people who want to you know go on live with us so feel free share it with your friends they'll be happy to hear what we're doing today they'll be happy to join us and if you have your fitness ball get your fitness ball i'm already bouncing on my own okay and i'm going to be doing a little demonstration also with our dumbbells because they are really mild exercises to start with and what you can also manage if you are having some kind of um, arthritis or the other. So we are highly welcome. Welcome, welcome to every one of us. Two more pages to share and we are through. So I hope you too, you're sharing. Let's just use this time to share to friends. Love is sharing. <laughs> Love is really, really sharing. So let's just share out. One more and we are done. One more and we are done. All right. So we are done. All right. So I'm... Um, let me just greet everyone of us very well. Let me see those who have joined. Hello, welcome, Akimbo Boye. Welcome, Joy. Welcome, Grace. Welcome, Obi. Welcome, Edith. Welcome, Eno. Welcome, Mabel. Welcome, Deborah. Welcome, Obi Omile. We're all highly welcome to this morning's broadcast, okay? 
welcome welcome to every one of us it's getting hot in lagos so a lot of um season and then for those of us remember our uh, christmas packages some people have started ordering their own aging with grace christmas package that comes with um lot of discounts and then you get your free raffle tickets you get your free raffle tickets and there are a lot in each one like i'm going to be exposing what is in the arthritis pack later for us today okay when we um, go on more i'll expose what is on the on the pack for us today all right so um today we are looking at exercises that can help with osteoarthritis and remember that i said if we talk about osteoarthritis it's the commonest type of arthritis and of course it's, it comes with lifestyle um issues it's not like rheumatoid arthritis that is an autoimmune disease or some that are reactive arthritis you know or all those that are infectious arthritis some of them that you cannot really really help for osteoarthritis is something you can help is something that you can actually reverse if need be it's something you can also reverse if need be come here and behave yourself today <laughs> something you can reverse if need be okay all right so these are some of the ways um, we know we can actually help some of these things. So when we talk about osteoarthritis, although there are many treatments available for osteoarthritis, I hope my camera is still good, I need to be sure. <laughs> although there are many um, treatments for osteoarthritis, research shows that exercises, you know, or exercise is one of the most effective and non-pharmacological treatment for reducing pains and improving functions in people who have osteoarthritis you know i need to be sure that uh, my video is showing well <laughs> because right here i just show you my head i'm wondering what is happening well let me just work with this so is um, exercise can help even if you're taking some medicine even if you're taking some um some supplements your lifestyle change remember i always say there are four ways that you can improve on your health that you can rejuvenate that you can remove so many illnesses there are four ways general or four umbrella ways the first one is lifestyle change you need to change some of your lifestyle issues that you're having and then number two is diet you need to work on your diet the food you take number three is supplementation because you're not getting enough from the food you eat, you need to supplement. And then the fourth one is exercise. Exercises will also help you very, very well. So specifically, exercise improves your joint range motion. Exercises will improve your joint range motion. Exercises will also improve your muscle flexibility. When we talk about muscles, the muscles flexibility and your muscle strength. And then exercise can also help manage weight. Of course, you know that weight is one of the biggest issues with osteoarthritis. It's one of the biggest causes, and it's also one of the things that make osteoarthritis not to reverse. Okay, so weight also can, um, exercise can also help you manage weight. Exercise can help you improve your mood. Exercise can help you, you know, reduce your aging processes and anti-aging, you know, um, um, way. Exercise is an anti-aging way that you can also have better health and also have the best of health conditions that you can have so well today we're going to be looking at what do i do if i actually want like someone who is in serious pain and wants to start exercising what will the person do so that's what we're supposed to do today <clears throat> permit me let me mix my drink again so that i can have something to be sipping in while i talk here i have bits and pitches because i'm going to sleep after here and then my water. So I'll just add my Agi stick. Agi is, helps with cardiovascular issues. It helps not even if only you have um, blood pressure, but also if you just need to prevent any cardiovascular issue. And it also helps with stamina. That's why I take my Agi a lot. It's one of the secrets of why I don't get tired. Agi, I take my Agi every day. Shake it very well in my bottle. And then I also have my cardio, cardio health. 
I've not done my morning therapy this morning. It's been quite um, a morning. After my exercises, I just came straight to, to set up. Because if I don't have my exercise this morning, it's a long, long, long day. <laughs> so I had to wake up to have my exercise this morning. My hand is slippery, so this is a little difficult. So this is my cardio health. Also pour it inside my bottle. And I shake, 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 shake. Hello, Ruth. You're welcome. Welcome, Jane Uche. Welcome, Chibuzo. Welcome, Onyen Adirin. Welcome, Yetunde Marian Eten. You're welcome. Gazi Meke. We are all met. welcome to this morning's broadcast, okay? Welcome, welcome to every one of us. Alright, so my drink is ready. Permit me. I was just lacking time. I usually make it before I come, but last time and now. <laughs> I couldn't get them ready. So I said, well, since it's all something we also need to learn, I'll do it here. So it may be hard to believe, but experts have found out and they all agree that exercise can help relieve joint pain from osteoarthritis. I was sitting with someone um, during the week. And then I left my ball, and the person sat on the ball and said, Oh, can I sit on your ball? I said, Yes, sit on because I had sat on it for a while. So I just pushed it aside, and the person picked it and sat on it. And well, the person was having a little of waist pain. And after like 30 minutes, say, I, I, I'm getting better, but how is it so? I said, This fitness ball <laughs> is some mystery that I really can't explain. You are having pains, even sometimes when I wake up and I'm feeling like a, a, a feel of, you know, cranky. Once I sit on my ball and I just, you know, bounce and bounce and do some little, little exercise, I just feel very well. So exercises are really, really good. People with arthritis should actually look at the option of exercising. Even if you're having, you're already having um, a lot of... Um, <laughs> You're already having a lot of pains. You have to find a way to make sure you do a little exercise, okay? Like I told us last week on Thursday, if your pain is so much that you cannot stand, use your aloe heat lotion. They are topical. They are not something you swallow. And or your MSM gel. So when you use these two, then you can now, the pain will relieve a bit. Then you sit on your ball and do your exercise because that will further, also further, relieve you of that pain that you're having you know and actually fitness ball is one of the simplest and easy to follow exercises that is actually good for osteoarthritis exercise ball is one of those that you can actually easily use very very easy i've done some exercises for us last week saturday and also um upper week saturday and of course almost many saturdays for the past one year, I have done a lot of exercises using fitness ball and other forms of um, whatever that you can have. Exercises that you can see on my page. So you can go ahead to look at them. So many people with arthritis begin with, you should, when you want to have an exercise. So let's look at how do I start? How to exercise if you have osteoarthritis? How do you start? You know, first of all, you need to start with easy options you can discuss it with your doctor if you're not sure or you can discuss it with me you can chat me on my whatsapp number my number is plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two plus two three four i'm going to put it on the screen for us now so that if you're in very very serious pain and you don't know how to start with you can talk with me you can talk with your doctor you can talk with your physiotherapist to tell you how you can start plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two Okay, so that you'll be able to know how to start your exercises and how to, you know, improve and graduate into other exercises that you might need to have. All right, so, so how do you do? First of all, you start with easy range of motion exercises, okay? And then you can also start with low impact aerobic exercises. Hmm? And then also muscle building exercises. We're going to be looking at some of them. I'm just reading them out for you. Number one, easy range of motion exercises, low impact aerobics, and muscle building. And then you can also participate in a variety of sports programs 
and exercise programs around your area. Like I told us, I, I will never forget these Enugu people. There are these people in independence layout in Enugu, state of Nigeria. Um, every day they come out for some kind of happy club exercises. I really, really wish I had something like that around my area. I, would, uh, I know I can start it, but we'll no time. <laughs> I wish there's somebody who is organizing it. I'll just pop in and pop out from time to time. So you can try exercises that will build up your muscle to support painful arthritis joints and also increase your range of motion and mobility. You know, so exercises definitely help. You can also do exercises without weights. You can do the ones with your weights, like your dumbbells. I'm going to be showing us a few um, illustrations this morning. You can also do with your dumbbells, you know, that can increase your range of motion. You know, you can also do that. And then you can do without them. You don't have to do with them, but they help. Dumbbells help to strengthen your muscle. Um, tone your muscles, build up your muscles in a way so that when you're growing old, you will not be having all those flabby, flabby, you know, muscles and looking very soft and things like that. They look really, really not nice. Hello, Margaret Alba. Welcome, Tiwa from Cameroon. Chibuzo Ada, welcome. Edo Ogrika, you're welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're all welcome to this morning's broadcast. So, you can do exercises without added weight. You can do with weight. And then as you get stronger, try adding resistant band. All those band exercises. You can use your belt. You can use, you know, all those bands that are elastic. Your ankle weight. And then, of course, higher kg of dumbbells. Okay? Like I tell people, it's not all about weight. I have 5 kg. It's not all about the weight. But the frequency and consistency that you do your exercise with you know the time so how do you get started if you if you if your osteoarthritis is very advanced like in stage four you need to talk to your doctor you need to talk to your physiotherapist about the types of exercises you're supposed to do and then you start slowly and gradually and by the time you please you can go ahead and have your exercises by yourself so you start with supervision from your physical therapy your physiotherapy or your athletic trainer or your doctors you need to find out if you are on stage four arthritis the one that you cannot move at all so that you not go and enjoy yourself the more but when you have spoken with them and they've advised you on what to do then you cannot go ahead and do some of these exercises that we are advising today so it's always good for you to you know start your workout with a warm-up don't come and start your workout in boom, 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 boom. You now you need to start with a warm up. Okay? So, people with osteoarthritis may want to go one step further to warm up their muscles before they start exercising. Especially if you have not done exercise for some time, you need to do your warm up. But each time, for me, each time I come out for my exercise, I make sure I do my warm up like now. What I'm doing is like a, a slight warm-up for me for my exercises on my fitness ball, you know. And then, you know, if I'm, if I'm going to be doing the, the dumbbells um, own, I can just start with a little warm-up. Not high range. Just do something that can help you small, small. Do it small, 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 small. You know, anyhow you like that is not straining you so much so that you can just you help loosen up your muscles. So when your muscles are loosened up, then you can now do some kind of heavy exercises that we're going to be seeing today also. So some of the samples of exercises that you can do for warm-up is like your side bend. You can put your hand on your hip. Eh, today, 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 today. How do I do it? Well, put your hand on your hip. You might not be able to see me very well today, okay? I don't know how we'll do it, but that's just the truth of the matter. <laughs> on Saturday, we'll do But put your hand on your hip and then bend. Sure we're seeing you. Sorry, I need to be sure we're seeing what I'm demonstrating. Are you seeing me? I need to be sure. <laughs> This one is static. Why is static there? Let me come off here and come back here. Uh, 
Hello, Margaret. How about you? Say thanks for yesterday, ma. Oh, Margaret. All right, right. Thanks for... It was Margaret's birthday on Thursday, so we celebrated her. My phone dropped a bit. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you are enjoying your book. Hello, Chizef. You're welcome. Welcome, Alabifu Milola. So I was saying when you want to do your exercise, you start with warm-up. And I say put your hands on your side and then you can now bend, okay? You can just do your side bends. Those are like side bends that you can have. And then you can also do your shoulder shrug by raising one or both of your shoulder upwards towards your ear. And then you lower and repeat like this. You can do both at the same time. Especially for those who are having some kind of shoulder osteoarthritis, but also for prevention, okay? Or you can do one shoulder. Two, three, four, five, and then you go over to the other shoulder. One, two, three, four, and five. So these are like all warm-up exercises that you can have. It's a form of warm-up exercise, okay? And it's called shoulder, like kind of shoulder shrugs. Then you can also extend your hands out on both sides and rotate your arm forward, then you reverse. You can extend your hand, you know, and then you rotate your hand. <laughs> I hope my flower will not hold me. Okay, let me come forward. And then you rotate your hand. These are also kind of exercises you can have. You go like backward, front to back, and then you can go from, you know. Always do opposite of whatever you do. Let me move my flower a bit. Okay, so you can extend, do your hand, and then this is a kind of exercise you can have, okay? And then you can go like this also. These are warm-up exercises you can have. All right. So then another form of exercise you can have is also, um, like we call it the toso, we call it the toso rotation. You can also have your toso rotation exercises remember these are forms of warm-ups that we are having first of all they are like warm-ups that we are having first of all after the warm-ups before you can now go forward to do some of the other exercises that are that you need to do because after the warm-up then you can now have some of the exercises that you actually need to do so remember i've talked about your having your your shoulder shrug, and then I've also talked about your having the bends, the kind of bent exercises that you, you also need to have, okay? So we're going to be looking at some of those exercises today very, very well. I'm trying to get where I put the, the samples for us so I can show us on my, on my phone. So I can show us on my phone so that um, each sample I'll be able to show us what it means. All right, so I've gotten it on my phone. I'll just show us the illustrations, what we mean, and then on next week, Saturday, we can go ahead and, and have them. So when we talk about the total rotations, that one you will stand. I'm, I can't demonstrate standing today, like I told us, because I'm doing a lot of reading. I'll read and then I'll show us the sample. You stand with your feet like apart so that as if if he's in the army they will say stand at ease okay and then with your toes as if they are slightly turned up then you rotate your left arm your left side then you rotate your right side like if you're you're like this you you rotate with your your remember that you're spread out too okay your your feet are spread out i'm sitting on my fitness ball with my feet spread out so you rotate and then you rotate like this. Let me show us um, what I mean. Let me be sure we are seeing me. So these like toes rotations. Is my video going off? This thing that I'm not even seeing when it's live. Okay. So. I hope well i don't know if we're seeing well but well just your hand will be like this and then you rotate okay you rotate these especially are some warm-ups especially for people who are having one kind of hand shoulder to waist 
um, arthritis, osteoarthritis. And like I said, even staying on my ball, I can do all the exercises I have taught us because it increases movement, okay? You can decide to put your hand together. You can decide to put them on your chest and then you... All right. So that is another form of um, warm-up that you can have. It's another form of warm-up exercises that you can have. Then, now, if you look at some strengthening exercises that you can do if you have osteoarthritis, some strengthening exercises like muscle strengthening can come from your lifting your hand weights using flexible tubing and even if it's just like one liter of water, like I tell us, you can start with, well, this is like 75 cl, but you can get one liter bottle. I remember when I was in, in Germany, I couldn't travel with my dumbbell. So what I did was to buy water, water, uh, bottles of water like this one liter two liters three liters that i was using to lift weight so you can do as an improvisation you can also do that but it's also nice having your dumbbells you know but many times one cannot one, one is not able to travel with so to start a hand weight program use weights that you can lift start with weights that you can lift you can decide to start with five seventy five cm cl bottle water and then you start improving it like i tell us it's not the weight actually but the consistency the frequency the issue that you're doing it right that's what it takes then you can now graduate from i have up to five kg of my dumbbells that i can use to do my exercises now you know because i've trained my arms to lift them one five kg on one five kg on one meaning 10 kg like now if i have two kg on one two kg on the other hand I'm already having 4 kg okay i lift it so easily now i can even just carry two or three on my hand and leave because i'm already used to it but remember what i said make sure you feel comfortable using the weight do two or three you know um set to eight and or up to eight to twelve repetition of each of the exercises that i'm going to be showing you now so the next one is your bicep curls the next one is your bicep curl. So for your bicep curls, you will start with shoulder bent at the side. Your shoulder bent at the side, keeping your upper arm at your side, you know, and then you bring one dumbbell up to your shoulder. So as if you're keeping, see my shoulder is down, I'm holding my two dumbbells like this, okay? And my hands are down. Then you will now lift lower um your position you will bring your dumbbell see as my hand is like this okay that's how it comes up and it goes down i've done all this if you go down my page i've done all this i'm just trying to tell you for osteoarthritis the type of exercises you need and like i said on saturday we're going to be doing some of the practices okay so this is it this is how it goes and then another form is the tricep extension so you use both hands to hold um your weight overhead like this use both hands to hold it over your head like this like the dumbbells will be like this let me show you and then you lift it over your head like this and then keeping your elbows pointed outward then you will keep and um, lower the weight behind your head can you see me how i've lowered the weight behind my head and then you make sure that you don't hit the back of your neck please don't hit the back of your neck and then you raise the weight overhead again and then you repeat so it's like this so that is the tricep extensions we're going to be doing some of this during our rounds on saturday so i've shown you your bicep curls i've shown you your tricep extension i also check and be sure that we saw what i did okay so actually this is showing it well it's just that my all right it's just that my video is a little i don't know why the video is like this but i think i'm seeing we're seeing it well okay but if you're seeing it well please notify me let me be sure i'm just showing us illustrations on saturday we'll go through the full exercise then we also have the side lateral raise the side lateral raise with your arms down at your side okay holding your dumbbells again and then you will now raise it to your your shoulder position like this so these are the lateral raises is the lateral raises 
okay so if we go through the three because these are very very important i'll just go through doing the three together for us you have your bicep curls you do like five reps and then you repeat it like 10 times and then you can now do your tricep extension side lateral raises okay putting your side to your shoulder down and then you can raise it up or to your shoulder you can also do this you know like i said you will stand but because i'm trying to illustrate for us since we are not seeing the pictures very well i don't know if i can show you but this is like the let me show us like the tricep extension okay that's the tricep extension and then this is the then this is the side lateral raises I just see if it wants to show well I have. So that's the side lateral raises, okay? All right. Then we also have the knee extension, which I'm also going to be showing us only um, strengthening your quadriceps to prevent joint instability and allow you for better movement every day. So you sit on a chair or on a table with your knees grease slightly over the edge then you extend one leg out squeezing your muscles tight at the top of the movement so it's not just raising your leg and putting it down raising your you need to squeeze your muscles you know when you're raising it and then you can bend your knee all the way past like 90 degrees i'm going to show you and you continue this movement repeatedly for like 10 times when you finish on one leg, I've shown us some fitness ball. You can sit on your fitness ball and do this. You can sit on a chair and do it. So this is the knee extension, okay? And we see what I'm showing us. So that's like the knee extension. Then you can also do your lying leg lifts. You can also do your lying leg lifts. You lie flat on your back with your knee bent and your feet flat. Then you extend one leg out left on the bed with your foot fixed and your toes towards ceiling okay i'm going to show us as i i read it out for us so this is your lying leg lift i want it to show well <laughs> okay so this is your lying leg lift so you lift your leg up past like 45 degree angle engaging the muzzle along the front of the thigh then hold one Count at the top and then you lower it. You can count like one to three or one to five, depending on how much you can. And then you also try to um, isolate the movement to just one leg. You can do it with both legs. You can do it with your two legs, keeping your hips and your body flat. You can see the second picture on the screen that I'm showing. Your body has to be flat there. And you continue this for like some minutes. So you lie flat, you lift up, you can do it lifting up two legs. You can do it lifting up one leg. So this is your lying leg lift. That's another exercise also that you can have. Then you can also do your wall squat. I showed us wall squats. I think it was last week Saturday. Okay. So this is a wall squat using your fitness ball. So you place your fitness ball against a wall. And then you lean against the ball, resting it in a small, you know, part of your back. See, you also have to hold your dumbbells. If you see the picture I'm showing us, she's holding the dumbbells. Then you place your feet hip width apart, approximately two feet, okay, from the wall. Roll your shoulder back and look straight ahead. Slowly lower yourself down into a seated position, not lowering past a 90 degree angle. Then squeeze your glutes and bring yourself back into a standing position. You know, each time you're doing these exercises, make sure that you're squeezing your, your, your muscles, okay? I showed us last week. You can walk, watch last week's video or follow me again next week. You also have it. Then you also have the standing hamstring curls. These are some of the exercises that can help you with motions that will help when you're having arthritis or prevention, like I said, it's better, safer than cure. So this is your standing hamstring calls. Stand to face the wall or chair to hold on for balance. Then you now place your feet, okay, 
hip width apart. Stand tall with you, your gaze forward, always looking forward, okay? And then you bend one leg at the knee, bringing your foot up towards your buttocks. Don't let your body rock back or forth. As you do this movement, you need to be steady 80 times to complete like three sets, okay? So this is your standing hamstring curls that you can do to help osteoarthritis. And then you can also go ahead and do some aerobic exercises, okay? There are some aerobic exercises that can help osteoarthritis. You do them like up to like 30 minutes every day, you know? And then you have some break, and then you can then do like 10, 10 minutes, have some break, another 10 minutes. You can do some aerobic dances. You can do some aerobic exercises. These are very, very helpful. So as your endurance builds up, then you can now go from 30 minutes to 45 minutes. You can even do as much as one hour if you have the time and you have the stamina. Like you can do walking, you can do your static cycling or biking, you can do swimming, you can do your water aerobics. All these are good aerobic exercises for people who have osteoarthritis. Like water exercises is especially very good because the water is soothing and it gives warmth to you also and it's also buoyant, okay? And it's also a gentle way to exercise joints and muscles because it acts as a resistance to help build muscle stress. So I always tell people who um, can swim. Swimming is very, very good aerobics for people with osteoarthritis. Now, I'm going to give us a little tips, okay, if you're exercising. In your everyday life, you can also work in, in some physical activities that can help if you have osteoarthritis. Try to do some kind of other physical um, activities. Don't depend only on your morning and evening exercises. You need to also do some kind of activities like washing your car, washing your bowls, washing your lawn, doing your lawn, sweeping, vacuum, window. You know, you can go out and do some shopping by yourself. Even if you don't want to buy anything, just do window shopping so you can walk about. <laughs> Then you can also walk around the room while watching television or like I tell us, sit on your fitness ball while working, watching television and make sure you're doing some kind of movement instead of being static or, static or sedentary all the time. So sit on your ball, make it your habit, buy your ball, sit on your ball and do your exercise. And I'm doing promo for those who will buy today. 10% discount on the fitness ball if you're buying it with your dumbbells, okay? If you buy only fitness ball, no 10% discount. If you're buying only dumbbells, no 10% discount. But if you're buying the two, this is especially for my new followers because I know they don't have. So these are opportunities for you to buy your dumbbells and your fitness ball together. Okay? All right. So then all these movements I'm talking about might look very little, but they are very, very important and they, they will help you a lot. Sitting on your ball to watch a three-hour um, movie, I tell you, it's going to do you a lot of good. Thanks for the thumbs up. I appreciate, I appreciate the thumbs up. So how much exercise is too much? That's what we're going to be looking at soon. How much? Let's just discuss how much exercise is too much. But I'll just check out to see if I have any um, questions before um, I continue on that. <laughs> I had to turn up to show us. Oh, how about you say network is friendly? Uh, let me see. Okay, a lot of people have dropped some comments. Let me just spend time to look at them. Yeah, Deborah, my day is blessed and yours too. Hello, Jen Chooks. Good morning. Well, good morning, Amarachi. Good morning, Yetunde Marian Eten. Good morning. Chibu Zada. Good morning. You're welcome, Ruth. Good morning. Sela Daniel. Good morning. Ruth, I don't. Okay. Hello, Ogrika. You're welcome. Welcome, Tiwa from Cameroon. Sarah Pochi. Welcome all the way from. I think you're in Germany or Italy or Spain. Sarah, you're welcome. I don't remember. I think it's Italy. Or is it Germany? Sorry, oh, sorry, Sarah. Sarah, you're welcome. Welcome, Margaret Alba. Happy birthday once again in our, our, our areas. 
She said, Margareta, what, what are you asking? He said, thanks. Okay, yeah, for your birthday. All right. Alabi for Milola, Felicia. Mary Odishola, you're welcome. Network is not friendly here, but I can manage to see you. So go on, ma. Okay, Albert, you can always watch the replay, okay? <laughs> Olua Kemi, good morning. Hey, yeah, Grace, network, too. You can watch the replay. So sorry. Even me, it's just God helping us today. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Stella. I was saying, Augustina Faith, you're welcome. Okay, you can see it now. Very good. Hello, Augustina, you're welcome. Oh, Doris, you can see me. Your network must be very, very good. Oye, Ni, Onye, Na, Onye, Na, Deri, Ann, you're welcome. Jen Uche, thank you. Jen Destiny, thank you. All right, so I've greeted everyone. Oh, Italy. Yeah, Sarah, yeah, Italy. You're welcome. Thank you for joining me again today and i hope you are enjoying your products sarah is one of my really really good customers in italy i have quite a number of you i even have a downline now in italy jennifer okay i love italy <laughs> i've been there only once i look forward to coming back to italy again all right so how much exercises is too much most experts agree that if exercise causes pain that lasts more than one hour then it is too strenuous. So if you're doing exercise and then the pain lasts more than one hour, it is too strenuous. You need to watch it. Remember what I tell you, start gradually. And then people will, with arthritis should work with their physical therapists or doctors to adjust their exercise programs when they notice problems like unusual and lasting fatigue. Now that fatigue shouldn't last, but you will always have it. Like now when I finish strenuous exercises, I know I'm going to feel very tired. So I just get myself ready to go and have a nap. And once I finish that nap, I'm okay. So if you're having unusual and lasting fatigue after exercise, then you know you're doing too much. You need to reduce it. Remember, gradually build up your stamina. Gradually build up your exercise ability. Then if you're also having a more weakness, then it's bad. And then if after doing the exercise, instead of having more range of motion, you're now having less range of motion, then you need to watch the exercise you're doing. Or after exercise, you have some kind of joint swelling that has not gone down, then you need to watch it. Consider also doing appropriate recreational exercises, okay? After doing your range of motion, your uh, muscle strengthening, and your aerobic exercises, do it small, small. The fewer injuries to joints also affected by arthritis occur during some of these strenuous exercises that you go out to have. So you need to be very, very careful. And that's why I say you need to start gradually. It's not something you start in a hurry. It's not something you start and um, you're trying to become <laughs> as if you're going for the next Olympic. <laughs> Since you're not going for the next Olympic <laughs> to go and represent uh, your country or your city or your location, I bet take them easy now your body. And that brings me to talk, talk to us about um, the testimony I had when I wanted, I was starting my weight loss program. I was following these men that uh, they are very big athletics. They were doing mountain climbing, you know, on the floor. I'll wake up 5 a.m. I'll leave my husband. I'll come out to the sitting room to do some of these strenuous exercises. I'll come back tired and fagged out. So one of the days, I had to stay in the room to do it. And as I was just doing that mountain climbing on the floor, very, very strenuous exercise, he came out and said, hey, which one is this one again? I said, try now. That this thing is good though. So he said, okay, he will stay on the bed to do it. So he stayed, lifted one leg. He said, eh? Is this what you're doing here? He said, me, I'm not doing no. I continued this thing until I sprained my ankle. Sprained really seriously from the first one to the second one. And then what happens to me? No exercise for like two, three months. And that weight I wanted to lose, I started adding it. So that's why it's always very, very important for you to know how much exercise you can do. That is appropriate for you and that's why i see this fitness ball as one of the best exercises you can have and remember what i always tell us as caution please make sure you're near a wall you can hold if you're doing your fitness ball exercise because sometimes it can roll you off and then you will fall and remember promo today if you're buying fitness ball and dumbbell together 10 percent for you and remember our Christmas package for our Tritis Christmas package. What do we have in here? You have your free fitness ball. You have one heat lotion. 
you have your forever move the best supplement you can have for osteoarthritis okay forever move it's been proven five percent clinically better than most pain relief and yet it's made from all 100% organic and not natural plants. Very, very fantastic. I've sold this in hundreds and I'm getting hundreds of testimonies all over the world. So this is also in our Christmas pack. And it works synergetically. It works synergetically with, um, with the... It works synergetically with the active HA, okay? It works very well with our active HA. And then, of course, a free ticket for you for this raffle draw. I have the tickets here. So as you're buying your own, you're getting your free ticket. Some people have already bought. You can see some people with their names there. This is the second booklet. Some people have already bought. So go ahead and get your own. And, of course, you know it's still, it lasts if it finishes. So all these are what you have in your Christmas pack, arthritis, Christmas pack. And what did I say? Buy for your parents. I can help you supply it to anywhere in the world. Very wrapped. Don't worry, by next week I'm going to show you the wrapped one. Very much wrapped, looking very, very lovely. You can start now to book them down. Some people are already paying some packs money, some full money, and giving me addresses to where I'll post it to for them, for their parents, for their senior. One woman said, I want to make my elder sister happy. And um, she's an Igbo. She said, Adane, I want to make my Adane happy for Adane blessings. Okay? All right. So these are some of the things you can use. Um, I know that some people will say, ah, when they have not eaten rice, somebody in pain. Somebody needs to, to be well, that his eyes needs to be open. Do something special for someone this period, okay? Let's go from the usual and do outside the box and get some of these Christmas pack. I also have the diabetic Christmas pack. I also have the high blood pressure Christmas pack. And then I have the menopausal Christmas pack for today. If I have any more questions... Oh, <laughs> Chizef is asking what I'm drinking. Okay, I'm drinking my, my drink is my usual daily drink. And I tell people I've not taken Coke maybe like in five years. I've not taken um, all these fizzy drinks and minerals in a long while. This is my drink. So what do I have here today? Okay, today I have Cardio Health. Okay, my drink, what do I have here today? Let me show us everything I have. Apart from water, apart from water, I have my bits and peaches, my cardio health, my IG in this water today. Okay, that's what I have. That's the drink I'm taking. Bits and peaches, IG, cardio health. But on Thursday, what I had was, on Thursday, what I had in my drink was, Aloe vera gel, RG, and super green. That's what I had in my drink on Thursday, okay? So those are my drink. I just drink them combined, you know, like that. They are healthier. They, are, they give you better life. They rejuvenate you. They are better for your system. They are better for your health. And then you also have, it's really, really lovely. This is, I don't know any wine better than what I'm drinking here. <laughs> The best wine ever. <laughs> All right, so Chizev, that's what I have. I'm answering Chizev's question. That's what I have in my my water today. All right, so thank you all for joining me. Go ahead and WhatsApp me. My WhatsApp number is already pinned on the screen. Plus two three four seven zero three five one five one six four two, so that you can get your own Christmas pack. Get your own. Arthritis, osteoarthritis, you know, solution pack. And also get your dumbbell and fitness ball, which is on promo today also. I love you all. See you. Bye.
this is why I know I have a serious view. It's not coming off. I don't know why it's like that. There's something wrong with this camera today.